Hey guys, it's Melanie. Happy Thursday and welcome to my November Beauty Empties. I have a, a lot of stuff to share with you guys this month. Before we get into it, I did forget to mention in yesterday's video, which was my home fragrance empties for the month of November, that my eyebrows are peeling. If you can see that on camera, my apologies. I did have my microblading touched up, so I had my touch-up appointment last Tuesday, and so they're kind of in the thick of healing right now. I'm hoping that by Wednesday or Thursday of this week, I'm recording this on Tuesday, <laughs> that um, this will all like be much better. So we'll, we'll see what they look like by Friday Favorites and Flops, to be totally honest. There's a cat somewhere, and she's going to jump up here, and it's going to scare the crap out of me when it does happen. So prepare yourselves. I have a lot of stuff to share with you guys. There she is. Gosh darn it. <laughs> it's my cat, Chi Chi. Um, I have a lot of stuff to share with you guys. As always, I will link my holy grails down below in the description box. So if you guys want to go read up more about the products that I absolutely adore, that information will be down there. Um, but I don't list every single product because quite frankly, I don't have time. It is corporate holiday flower season for me. So I've got a lot going on with work. Um, and I try to do as much as I can to keep up with YouTube at the same time. So let's get into it. Okay, we have some Method Moisturizing Body Wash in white tea. This is what my husband uses. I buy this for him at Target. I really like the scent. It actually reminds me of like a kefir lime type of uh, fragrance, more so than white tea. I really like it. I like the smell on him, and these are very hydrating for his skin. Um, so right now he has the coconut milk, and I really like that one too. I really like these. I would highly recommend checking them out. They're pretty cheap. I want to say they're like four or five bucks at Target. Um, these I will definitely link down below for you guys. These are the Alba Botanica Hawaiian 3-in-1 Clean Towelettes, the pineapple enzyme formula. So these came in very handy when my eyebrows were healing the first go around from microblading. You are not supposed to get them wet at all. So this is what I use to keep my forehead clean. Um, they worked really, really well. There's, there's, no, um, there's no substitute for using an actual face wash. <laughs> And honestly, my skin is once again breaking out. It's just angry in my forehead area because I can't wash it normally. And when I am not able to use all of my skincare routine up in that area, it just gets flaky. Um, I mean, it just goes to show me how important like my chemical and physical exfoliators are for me because my skin just gets rough <clears throat> almost instantly. So... But these do a decent job of cleaning the makeup off and keeping my skin fairly clean. I'll usually do one to get the makeup off and then a second one to like really clean the area. And then on the lower part of my face, I still do my normal skincare routine. But these are these are really nice. Alba Botanica is cruelty free. So if you're in the market for some makeup removing wipes, these are great. This was Stella's body wash for the last few weeks in the shower. And this weekend from Bath and Body Works, she liked it. Um, I can't use those much too drying for my skin. This I will link for you guys because I love it. I love Paula's Choice products. I'm still using quite a few of them. Um, I had a video where there were like two people and I think their like screen names were like Paula's Choice fan or something like that. But um, they were like, why don't you use Paula's Choice stuff anymore? And I do. <laughs> That's the thing. When I give you guys my skincare updates videos, those are about the newest things that I've incorporated into my skincare routine. And I will be doing updated morning and evening in December. So look for that then. But I use a lot of stuff. And I'm, I'm not going to like in every single monthly skincare updates give you guys like the full routine. It's just too much. Um, and I talk too much like I'm talking too much right now, but I love this. I've gone through multiples of these and I will repurchase it again. The Resist Daily Pore Refining Treatment 2% BHA. This is a liquid exfoliant and I love it and I already have a backup because I think it's amazing. I'm getting rid of this. If you guys will remember a few weeks ago, I showed you the Rudy the Root Lifter, which is what I am using to vol vol volumize. I was gonna say voluminize, but that's not right. Volumize my hair. Um, I'll just link that video down below, but I did compare this Vidal Sassoon Answers crimper thing with that in that video, and this is a piece of garbage, so I'm just, I'm tossing it. 
it burns hair so <laughs> I'm not gonna pass it along to anybody else because I don't want them to singe their hair either so that's just going away finished this last night and I really like it and I will buy the full size of it at some point very soon. It is the Youth to the People Spirulina Micro Algae Kale and Spinach Age Prevention Superfood Mask. This little sample guy came in a set. If the set is still available I will link that down below and I'll also link this by itself because it's just a really great mask. Um, smells like smells like a kale salad. Some people may hate that smell. I don't mind it. It smells very earthy, very green. Great mask to pull out some toxins or excess oil. Um, and it just makes my skin look and feel younger and softer and just prettier after I use it. So I like it. <laughs> That's. I feel like it helps to like exfoliate a little. It's just, it's good stuff. Sorry, I'm like elbowing my cat because she is, oh, can you move maybe just a tiny, there we go. Um... Marula Daily Moisture Mist Leave-In Conditioning Hair Protector. I really did like this. Um, I am trying the Color Fanatic Hair Beautifying Spray from Pureology right now, but I would actually repurchase this again in the future. It's a really lovely, lightweight um, leave-in conditioning protector. The only My only complaint is, you see how there's like a tiny little bit, little bit left in the bottom? I can't get that to spray out, and if I don't spray it in my hair, it's it's too much so bummer but anyway this was really really nice I do love the Marula brand I think they make great stuff a body wash that I was using in the shower was the mango shower gel from the body shop these are hydrating enough for me just hydrating enough but they're not perfect but I can find these sometimes for super cheap at TJ Maxx is that where yeah TJ Maxx um and this mango one just I thought it smelled really good, so I bought it, and I, I like it, but I prefer my Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Foreplay Shower Cream Gel Moisturizing Body Wash. I feel like I just added extra words to the name of that, but you guys know what I'm talking about. I'll link that down below. Minoy Coconut Oil Nourishing Conditioner from Hosk. I use this on Stella. She loves it. We already have a backup. Is that the conditioner? Yeah, this is the conditioner. She's still working through the uh, shampoo, but we already have a new conditioner in there. Paul Mitchell Extra Body Sculpting Foam, Thickening Foam. I thought this was good. Um, I don't know that I'm going to repurchase it, though, because there's other fo foaming mousse products that I want to try. Um, but I did think it was good. If you are a Paul Mitchell fan, this is a great volumizing um, mousse that didn't dry my hair out so it's good for that this I did not think I was actually gonna finish this myself but I did and my husband went to reach for it and it was empty and he was like I thought this was for me this is the Malin and Guts G-O-E-T-Z I believe it's German um, rum hand and body wash uh, this smells like rum um, when I first ordered it from Octoly I thought it would smell like rum cake because that's my, how my brain works it smells a little bit mannish, but I just, I really love this for shaving my legs. And so I used it up myself, just shaving my legs, made my skin really soft. Um, if I loved the smell of it more, I would reorder this in a heartbeat because it was so hydrating and nice on the skin, but I just don't love the smell enough to like reorder it. I went through this Dermatology Essential 11 Hydrating Cleanser. This is their anti-aging formula cleanser. I really like this a lot. I use this in the shower. And it's a really super gentle cleanser that I um, would use with my Foreo Luna. This is lovely. And if there weren't a million other cleansers that I want to try or that I want to use up that are already in my collection, I would totally get this again because it's amazing. If you guys have never tried this, oh jeez. Dermatology line. They are a medical grade skincare line. They did send this to me for consideration um, and I ended up just loving it. This is a great, great cleanser. Uh, True Serum from Ula Henriksen. Yes, I will repurchase this for next summer. This is perfect during like the late spring summer when it gets warmer. Um, right now I'm using the Drunk Elephant Sea Firma, which is great when it is drier. <laughs> And colder um, it has a little bit of that marula oil in it which is perfect for me during the day this is a little bit more drying so it's actually perfect for me in the summer when I'm 
a little bit earlier. So I love this. I think it's fantastic. If you've never tried it and you have oily combination skin, I would give this a go. And it's actually cheaper than the Drunk Elephant. So if you're into vitamin C serums. Um, Stella also finished this conditioner. I used it quite a bit as well. And then she was like, um, that's for me. I love the smell of it. So I finished it on her hair. But the Lather Avocado Mint Hair Repair. This is their intensive moisture therapy um, conditioner. Stella loves this. It smells like peppermint and she loves the way it looks. It's green. <laughs> she loves the way it smells. It is minty. There's no avocado smell to this, but it was so perfect for her hair. It detangled it. It made it shiny and soft and just beautiful and easy to brush through. Uh, if you have kids that have maybe thicker hair, I would try this lather line for them. They use pretty good ingredients, and um, if your kids like minty smells, there you go. I have so much stuff, you guys. I'm sorry. I'll try to hurry. Josie Moran Argon Oil in Light. There's hair on this. Gross. Why? Oof. Um... So I ended up using the rest of this on my body. I had used it to the halfway point, and then you guys know that I started falling in love with different facial oils. Marula oil and squalane oil are my go-tos right now, but I have some other oils that I've had for at least two years that will go rancid eventually. So I'm starting to use them with my body care products, and I love this in my body care products. It was great to put into any of my lotions for my arms or my legs, or just to use straight on my skin. But I won't repurchase it because like I said, I'm a Marula convert, so Argon Oil just doesn't do it for me anymore, but that one is really lovely. Finished the Kate Somerville uh, Mega C Dual Radiance Serum. This was great, but I won't repurchase it. I prefer her Redisphere Micro Peel. I'll link that down below. That's an amazing product. This is really good, but that's an amazing product. Oh man, I really want it back in my life, but I am going to be doing like a skincare project panning thing, so at Spring VIB, I see myself repurchasing that Redisphere stuff, but I, I don't think I'll get that one again. Are we? Nope, not quite into makeup yet. <laughs> I have the OMG Botanicals um, antioxidant cleanser. I really like this a lot. This was, uh, I was able to use this all over my face, even on my eyes, to take off my eye makeup, which is looking kind of rough. It's, we're at the latter part of the day here. Normally I record in the morning, but I had, like, doctor's appointments in the flower market and everything, so, um, but anyway, uh, this works great to remove all of my makeup. It's super gentle, super effective, very similar to Philosophy's Purity, which I've, you know, I've never really been able to find a dupe for up until this. So if you liked Purity and you're looking for like a cruelty-free option, here you go. This is another Paula's Trace product that I use every single day of my life. And my dermatologist that I went to go visit this morning was like, your skin looks great. What are you using? And so I listed off all of the things. <laughs> and she was like, whoa, that's a lot of stuff, but it's working for you, so keep going. <laughs> I was like, I will. But I told her one of the main things that I use every single day is this SPF 30 from Paula's Choice. And she was like, that is the best thing that you can be doing for your skin. Keep doing it. So I'm going to keep doing it. I already have a backup. It is, where is it? Did I lose my backup? Where's my backup? Oh, it's right here. Right here. Um, if you have oily skin, you need this because this works on oily skin. So I'll link this down below. Sorry, that was a tirade. Uh, some random samples. Natura Bisset Barcelona Diamond Life Infusion uh, Youth Biomarker Serum. Okay, this came with my skin store order. I want to say that this... <laughs> you guys wait for this. I think this retails for $750. <laughs> what? I, I was curious about it. I was like, what is this brand? It's from Barcelona. Um, and I went on the skin store website and something from this line, I think it was this serum, was $750. I was like, it better come with like a diamond necklace or a pug or something. I mean, no. I mean, you guys, I, I like expensive skincare, but I'm not spending, it was nice 
but I'm not spending that much ever on anything skincare related. Kane and Austin Miracle Pad, 30%. I've only used one of these. I've got the other two that I need to use up, but I really like the one that I used. Makes me curious about more of this Kane and Austin line. Um, apparently this is actually the, this is the dermatologist that's based out of New York City. Kane Austin MD Dermatology New York. So anyway, I'm intrigued. I, I will try more from Kane and Austin. I'm intrigued. <sighs> uh, Pre-cleanse balm from Dermalogica. My friend Susan was like, you gotta try this. Um, <laughs> that's my impression of Susan apparently. That's not how Susan sounds, you guys. But anyway, I hope you're watching Susan. I love your face. <laughs> But um, she said that this, and there's another like pre-cleanse thing from Dermalogica, but I got this in a Beauty Fix box and I really liked it. Not enough to probably buy the full size, but I want to try more from Dermalogica. I think they seem like a really great brand overall, but this was good. It was good. Thank you, Susan. Thanks, Susan. Um, okay, that's, the rest of this stuff is makeup. Perfect. Okay. I, I need to keep this because I have to do a review for you guys. I used a, a thing of different. I actually got this from my mom. She used like the tiniest little bit on her skin. I mean, I don't even think that she actually put it on her skin, but she was like, I think it's going to irritate my skin, so I don't want to use this. I think her dermatologist told her to buy it or whatever. But So she gave it to me. This is the different Adapalene Gel 0.1% acne medicine. I don't know. It's good for like anti-aging stuff too. Um, uh, Dr. Dre, uh, Andrea, she is a dermatologist. She, that's actually how I found her is I saw her different videos. So when my mom was like, do you want to try this? I was like, heck yeah, I'll do a video on it. So I'm going to set this off to the side. Look for that in December. I promise. Um, finished this Daily Concepts Your Facial Micro Scrubber. The, Stella ended up using this. Um, it's a cruelty-free brand, but I, I've actually seen this at TJ Maxx. It came in a Beauty Fix box, but you can find this Daily Concepts. It's like a washcloth, in, like a, with a sponge. I'll link it down below. I'm not doing it justice in terms of explaining it, but anyway, this was in my shower. I didn't want to bring like the used washcloth in here because you just you throw it away after you're done with it. Okay, oh, NYX Blush and Taupe. This is the NYX Blush and Taupe that I'm always talking about. There's cat fur on everything now. Um, I know that there are those of you that are like, NYX has a new one in Taupe. <laughs> I know, it's the HD one, it's not the same. It is, it's not the same in color, it's not the same in texture, it's not the same in wear. I don't know why they had to discontinue these blushes in this but this was perfect luckily I have like 10 backups so I'm fine but I was bummed uh mascaras let's do how many mascaras there's a lot of mascara okay four mascaras that I'm tossing this is a Laura Geller lash boss um just a little sample guy uh, I really like this I actually have the full size that I'm waiting to use up at some point this I'm getting rid of I just I did not like this at all this came from Octoly um lash impact ultra no, this was terrible. Made my lashes clumpy, spidery. Yeah, no. Um, this got all dried up. This is the Laura Geller Glam Lash Dramatic Volumizing Mascara. Uh, it's it's like gunky. I think I used it a couple times and then put it back in my stash <laughs> to like use at a later time. Um, don't do that. Once you open a mascara, just finish it. <laughs> Wait on opening your other mascaras because. Once you open them, the air gets in there, the formula starts to change, and when you go back to use it a few months later, it's going to be dried up like this one was, so that sucks, but lesson learned. Marc Jacobs Omega Lash Mascara. I wanted to compare this to the Velvet Noir. There is no comparison. There is nothing like the Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir Mascara on this planet. Not even another Marc Jacobs Mascara can compare to the Velvet Noir. That's how much I love it. This has a great brush. I actually really like the brush on this one. It is a bristle brush, um, but it's not the same. It's just not the same. Uh, this lash serum from Grande Lash MD. Okay, I still have, there's still a little bit left in here, but I'm getting rid of it because you know what? This makes my lashes grow in completely straight. It makes them grow, 
but I had to stop using it because my lashes were growing in straight. Normally, naturally, my entire life they have grown up in a beautiful like upward curve. Never had to use a, like a lash crimper. I don't even know what it's called, a lash curler. Never had to use that. Uh, and then I started using this and my lashes grew in stick straight. And I was like, no. I don't know what it is, but I went back to my Rapid Lash and you know what? Within two weeks of using that, look at how beautifully like up they go again. I don't know what it is with this stuff. It's weird, but I'm not going to keep using that. This bummed me out. Um, this is the By Terry Bomb de Rose. Uh, unfortunately, in the last couple of months, By Terry has uh, started selling in China. So uh, they are no longer cruelty free. Bummer. <laughs> There's a few by Terry products that I have fallen in love with and now I cannot repurchase. So I was going to repurchase this, like I literally had it in my cart like through Derm Store and I was going to buy another one during the like Black Friday sales and stuff, but alas, I cannot. So it's too bad. Um, and then I finished the Comptoir Sud Pacifique Vanilla Abricot from um, Scentbird. So this is like a little scent. Is there anything left in here? It smells so good. I mean, I bought the full size of the perfume, but... Oh, it's so good, you guys. Ooh! I'll link this down below. If you've never smelled these Comptoir Sud Pacifique fragrances, they are to die for. Like, they are actually the best perfumes. I don't want to say they're the best, because I have a lot of favorite perfumes. I'm looking at them over here, but... But these are just really good, and they're actually pretty affordable as far as perfume goes. They are eau de toilettes, so they're a little lighter, but I find that they last a good chunk of the day on me, so I don't know. I like to hose myself down with those multiple times a day, so I don't mind reapplying. That's everything. Whew, what a long video. Leave me any questions <laughs> in the comments. Um, I am really busy with corporate like floral orders right now, so I am terrible at responding to comments but I try to like I'm trying to keep up I'm I, I'm at least reading all of them but I'm not able to like I forget to even hit like the love on every single one um I've been trying to do that but things are just a little crazy right now they will calm down in the next couple of weeks so it'll be fine but in the meantime it's work is a little rough but anyway thank you guys so much for watching I really appreciate you I hope that you'll take the time to subscribe if you're new and I'll see you in my next video. Take care. Bye. <laughs>